Hello guys, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can create a digital fillable planner uh, using this great tool, this great platform called Canva. So what am I using Canva? Because Canva is totally for free. And, and actually I'm going to be using more tools to make this a fillable file. So why, um, what this fillable actually means. Speaking about fillable, is a file where you want to constantly start to editing the elements and the text and everything that inside the uh, template or the file that you just created. So what are the platforms that we can choose to edit our stuff? Of course, if you create a PDF file, this might be fillable, but depends on the, uh, on the actual device that you're currently using the file. Let's say just one example here. I do have this um, th this monthly planner. So how do I know how, if this one is fill fillable? So we hit into show, hit into download, and here I want to choose only the second page, which is actually this one. I want to save this as a PDF standard file, and I want to download this. So once I download this, I'm going to go for, let's say, downloads, and here it is. I'm going to go into my files, I'm going to go into my downloads, and I'm going to double click my file. All right, so um, what can I do if this one is fitable or not? As you can see, I do have elements in here where I can edit my own file. So I can either draw wherever I wanted to, or I can even add text wherever I wanted to. So this is a fillable file. So I can even change colors if I want to highlight those, but you can see we're just limited here of what we are doing here. So uh, there are different ways. If you want to uh, use these elements, these images, I think that for me, it's a little bit difficult to use digital planners that are created and designed it for other users from Canva, from uh, from Pro Textures, from uh, let's say there was another one called uh, Sketches. Um, there's a lot of lot of applications where you can create a lot of, st of stuff like this. But focusing here into just Canva, I'm gonna go into Leaf. Focusing here into just Canva, um, we can make a fillable file. But what you need to do is to constantly open the document and you can edit that but only by using Canva. In different ways, different scenarios, a fillable platform that can be helping you to make something a little bit more interesting might be the Google Suite. So here in the Google Suite you can create a Google Slide file, you can create a Google Doc file. So speaking about what we can do here into Google for example here to have a digital planner LT 2023 I have a monthly planner and here I can just tap into enter and here let's say that I want to create um, a few um, set, uh, files in here fields so I'm going to go into insert I'm going to hit into small chips or actually I'm going to go for table and here I'm going to go for seven because I want to go for Monday Tuesday four five two, six seven and I'm going to hit like only five so there that what I want to do is to go for Monday and here I can go for Tuesday and here I can go for Wednesday and like that so that's how we can just getting start here into uh, Google Docs and then what I do here is to start editing my own file my own my own needs in here so here let's say that this is uh, for January so I'm gonna go for January 2023 and here um, I do have this file of Monday Wednesday I'm gonna go for uh, let's say go to the movies so that was kind of, uh, that's how I can fillable my file I can go back into my own documents I can select the recent documents that appears in here everything has been just uh, updated automatically so I can go into own title document and here to have my digital planner of the 2023 and if I deleted this or let's say I want to choose this cell or delete this or I want to click into a next like if all those days has passed already 
like this, like this, and like this. I go back into my files, and let's say I like just run out of somewhere else, and I go back a few days later. I clicked into my digital planner, and here it is my file already edited. So that's uh, how we can create a fillable file. But if you want to be creative, if you want to add, uh, you want to inspire, you want to add more elements, uh, background colors, um, that's the reason why I can strongly suggest you to use Canva. But if you don't know how to edit a PDF file, it's going to be a little bit hard to have this fillable file. In my case, if I go into Canva, I want to go into the template. And here in the template, let's say that I want to look only for a yearly planner or monthly planner. Monthly planner. Or let's say yearly planner like this. Let's see what does the file has here. So I do have like this calendar of the 2023. Well, let's use for calendar 2023 actually. All right, so we do have a lot of files here. I want to choose this option. I want to go into customize the template. And here into this template, I can customize this as I wanted to. I can just try to edit the colors. I can try to edit uh, the, the fields in here, the text, the fonts, wherever you want to do. So once I hit into share and I hit into download, it's really important to choose a PDF standard file. Go into download and here, what I want to do is to open this depending on the device that I'm currently using, um, only for PC, for example, if I double click like this, it's gonna be automatically sending me into this reader of PDF files where I can try to draw, scratch, or do whatever I wanted to into this file. And once again, it's gonna be happening the same thing. If I hit into draw, for example, I'm gonna be choosing the red color, there's a thickness like this, and I want to scratch this, um, like this, like this, has passed already, passed already, passed already, passed already. So um, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna hit into save. Oh, actually this is the print file, so I'm gonna go cancel. I'm gonna hit into save. I'm gonna go into the X mark, and I'm gonna once again open my file. And there we go. Everything that we just did before, a few seconds ago, it's already saved it into this file. And if I want to erase those, I can totally do that. Since uh, we didn't do this in the original file, we can delete this. So it's really easy to have this fillable file as a PDF file if you want to have a fillable file and if you want to use a PDF file and be creative and use your own ideas and elements to add that into your, uh, into your own digital planner. But that's totally up to you guys. If you want to use an application uh, or another place where you can edit or you can customize your own templates and you want to daily, day by day, enter the application and enter the application. My point of view at the end of the day, it would be like most, uh, it would be harder for you to enter to the application to scratch a day or to update that. What I do a lot is to use uh, a calendar from or the calendar from iCloud or the calendar from the Huawei or the Samsung company. So everything is just in one place and I can take this calendar into my iPad, into my phone, into my PC and everything is going to be updated in here and I don't have to focus a lot. I mean, it's it's not looking like really creative what, uh, as we just did before in here but everything is just uh, organized. And for me, I think that it's more than enough. So hopefully guys, this was a very useful video for you. You can do whatever you want to do. These are just a few tools and elements that I show you so you can create your own digital planners. And of course, they are uh, available so you can work in them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video once again. I'll see you guys soon and have lots of fun.